Back in November, we told you about a plan to place weather warning sirens in Spanish Fort. We've now learned that plan has been put on hold for the past couple of months while the city waited for state emergency management approval. Fox News meteorologist Matt Barentine pressed the state EMA. He got word for the city on that approval. He's joining us now with the update. Hi, Matt. Hi, Lanice. Yeah, it has been a long wait for the city of Spanish Fort. They first uh, got the uh, funding, the federal funding, about eight months ago, and that paid for three quarters of the $160,000 price tag of the siren system. So they've had the funding in place, but until today, they did not have approval to move forward with the project. That's a sound that'll soon be heard in Spanish Fort. The city have been waiting on Alabama EMA approval for the locations of the sirens, but they'll wait no more. When Fox 2 News pressed the Alabama EMA about the sirens, they told us the approval should be final by the end of the week. We've been waiting for that approval for a better part of two months now and uh, look forward to moving this project forward to get the uh, tornado sirens in place. The Eastern Shore City will be the first municipality in Baldwin County to get sirens. Fire Chief Roger Few says it adds another layer of safety for folks in Spanish Fort. They're going to give the residents and citizens just a, uh, another tool to get some advance notice of uh, approaching bad weather. The five sirens will straddle Highway 31. They'll be placed near the Churchill Subdivision, Rockwell Elementary, Spanish Fort High School, and the new city complex. The siren that will be placed the farthest west will be here at Five Rivers on the causeway. It will warn folks at the center as well as warn folks across the street at Mayor State Park. It will also likely, with the way sound carries over water, give boaters some warning too. It will go a long way. You'll probably hear that to Alabama. Part of the wait on the sirens was getting the correct locations for the best coverage of the city. Now that hurdle has been cleared. Any way that we can alert our public to a potential hazard out there. It's a good thing for a city, a good thing for our citizens. Now, the city originally hoped to have the system in place by the beginning of spring. Now, with the delay over the location, it's going to take a little longer. Now, they're hoping for late spring to get the system up and running. In Spanish Ford, I'm Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. All right. Thank you, Matt.